the seniors, and uh, then we'll kind of get on with the other festivities. So first of all, thank you everyone for coming, and uh, and we're going to say a couple words, and I want them to talk too because some of them, you know, uh, we haven't heard their voices enough, especially with the COVID and all that stuff. So uh, we're going to start right here with Ethan Wallace. Okay. Ethan. Oh. Ethan's done a great job for us, and we always love left-handed players. So uh, thank you, Ethan, for being left-handed. And uh, Ethan wanted me to tell you guys that he'll get you discounts at Midwest Sports, right? <laughs> Ethan is going to be going to Ohio State next year to study mechanical engineering. So that's exciting. Um, one of the things that uh, when we think about Ethan, that I think about Ethan, is just constantly positive, upbeat, um, just friends with everybody. Um, guys like that are really great for the program because people just like to be around them. So uh, Ethan, uh, fantastic job. And what I want Ethan to do now is tell the group, you know, one of his one or two best memories as a Sycamore tennis player. So probably you have to speak up loud. It would probably have to be like Centerville this year. Oh, I think that was the last match off. Is that a three set match? Or a I think it was two sets, but like it was like I kept getting pushed back to the back curtain and the wind was horrible and it was lobs, 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 lobs. And I had to be aggressive in order to win that match, otherwise I would have lost. So, and I did, so that's probably my favorite memory of the year. Let, let's go over here. come up so people can see which one. Uh, uh, some of our parents, parents are great. Okay, next up is Davey Sheen. I think I have to be consistent. I've been doing this for four years. I have to tell the story about Davey and his freshman year because this is probably my last chance to get to tell it to the group. Um, when I think of Davey, I think of a freshman sitting on those bleachers over there at the end of tryouts when we're going to tell each player individually, the coaches are sitting over here, what team they're on. It's kind of a big deal and all that, and we tell the players, put your phones over there, because we don't want them finding out and texting all the players what team they're on and all that. So everyone does that, they're all sitting over here, and here comes freshman Davey Sheet, right about here, I think he trips, and his phone falls out right there. <laughs> so Davey's trying to pull one against us on the first, his first week of tennis ever. Since that, I don't think he's uh, pulled any fast ones on us, so, all right. Uh, Davey is going to be attending Northwestern University to study biology. Uh, one of the things that I think about with Davey, other than his cell phone, is when he's on the court, he is a really smart player. He is the type of player who will mix things up, will throw in lobs, he'll attack more, especially when he's playing the game defender. He knows how to push like no one. Just uh, He understands when to push and when to hit. But uh, he's a smart player, fun player, always extremely positive uh, on the court. You'd never know if things aren't going well for him. So, you know, we always love to have players who just, they're happy to be out here. So, great job, Davey. And now let's hear from Davey some of his highlights. Uh, probably sophomore year when I played Mason, we were at the lock. And then we demolished them in two sets. And we did, I mean, it was like a full one win against Mason. So. So, 
Nog, we appreciate all your hard work and sincerity. And now, let's hear what you have to say. Uh, what I'm going to be uh, the center film guys for the sophomore year with the uh, Max and Tiger. And they went into third set. Those guys did that. that. So, center film sophomore year? Yeah. And then what happened at the end? We won. Yeah. 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 to a vocational school next year. Where will you be next year? And he'll be back in Japan next year studying uh, in a vocational school. So. And we got one more guy, Jeffrey Song. Jeffrey's one of our captains, and he's going to be going to uh, the Kelly School of Business at Indiana next year. So that's awesome. When I think of Jeffrey, uh, I think of work ethic and sincerity and politeness and just all the things that we want an aviator tennis player to be like. It's Jeffrey. I don't think he has an arrogant bone in his body. He just wants to go out and work hard and, and be with his teammates. Um, you've got such a positive effect, and, and I don't even know if you realize the effect that you have 
on the younger guys and all that just by being who you are. So uh, we really appreciate all you've done so far. So, what are your, your memories here? Um, mine would definitely be sophomore year coaches classic when uh, I was in a, a match that would bring me to the finals and I was I camped up in my second set after winning my first set and then I talked to Coach Holland and she told me to take it easy on the second set and kind of throw it away to, to get ready for the third. Third tie break? Okay, maybe. But anyways, I ended up winning that. So she had reverse psychology. Okay, so um, great job by you guys, and I want to thank the parents, uh, Mrs. Wittenbaum, and all the parents who helped out with everything. Um, do you guys want to make presentations or? I just want to thank everyone for being so generous. I mean, I've never had to ask twice. We've had to collect a lot of things this year for the new at grade and the coaches classes for school supplies. I mean, I have a house full of school supplies. So we raised eight hundred dollars for the athletic booster basket. That is like incredible. Like that's incredible. So we were able to do two baskets in the raffle, and it's just been a very easy thing with no food or drink this yeah. season. So we were able to kind of focus on other things. And uh, I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You can open it later, Jeff. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Um, as far as the food goes, we need to make sure that we are uh, following the COVID rules and all that stuff, especially since that's becoming a, a bigger issue lately. So, are you going to be the uh, distributor? So, you guys. Okay, great. So you guys are just collecting the food. You're not going to reach in and get it yourselves. And uh, we'll go that way. Okay. 